Pro. Well, today I'm going to make you a nice, lovely Jamaican dish, which is going to be rundown. Well, a lot of people don't know what is rundown. Rundown is from salt mackerel. I have all of my ingredients, and I'm going to show you how it's make. I'm going to make it from scratch, and I know you guys are going to love this recipe. It's a beautiful recipe, and I'm going to go with some banana and dumpling. So, in Jamaica, in the morning, you can have it for breakfast, or you can have it for lunch. I know it might be a little bit heavy for breakfast, but that's Jamaican. They like these things in the morning. Or you can have it for lunch. You can also have it for dinner. But it's a beautiful recipe, and it's simple, easy to make. And I'm going to show you how to make Jamaican rundown. Beautiful recipe. Also, you can visit my website at chefrecorder.co.uk and please leave your comments if you like Jamaican Rundown. If you want me to make you something, please write it in the description box. I might take some of the time before it comes, but I will make it for you. The salt mackerel Rundown is someone requested it and now I'm going to make it for them. So enjoy the recipe. Please, if you like the recipe, write it in the nice. So, right over here is all of my ingredients to that beautiful salt mackerel Rundown. Well, right here I have some spring onion, I use a lot of spring onion. Just a little pinch of a pepper, and that's the green pepper, spring onion. Some garlic, red pepper, and yellow pepper. I got a scotch bonnet pepper, and some spring onion, some white onion, and some fresh thyme. Right over here I have, you can see right the amount of coconut cream milk, which I have right here. Three quarter glass of coconut milk. That's what we're going to use also inside of it. Right over here, this is the salt mackerel. I've just cut it into half. As you can see, I cut into half. And we're not going to need the head, we're going to remove the head. And I want to say to you, there's a bone inside which we're going to need to also move. But before we do anything first, we need to cook it first. Now I'm going to show you what's going on in the meantime. With the fried here, I have a medium sized pot on the stove with some water, three quarter pot of water inside of it. Also, what I'm going to simply do is I have it about three to four minutes already and a medium sized heat so I start to see that heat is coming from it that's getting hot. I'm going to simply put my mackerel inside of it like this and like this. Simple, just cook this for roughly one nice good ten minutes until it starts to tear, up, tear apart from the bone and getting soft. You guys are gonna love this, and I'm gonna show you what next after you cook or to wash it off and get it clean up and looking really different. So, enjoy that one as we leave this to cook for a good 10 minutes. Nice one, nice. So, as you can see, even through the glass right on the top, the cover, the, the pot right here, oh, it's boiling. Just look at that, beautiful and looking lovely and nice. We don't want to know if your salt mackerel is cooked. If you do it simple do it like this, I broke off this little piece. That means it is ready. This is ready. And now we're going to just simply pour off the water. We're going to remove the bone and cool it into some, run it down into some cold water. Remove the bone and pick it up into some pieces. So that's what we're going to do next. So when you buy your salt mackerel at the supermarket at the store, come on, boil it off and simply when you boil it off just remove the bone and remove it, remove the bone inside and remove the head and pick it up very small for it to make the rundown nice one so right here this is a salt mackerel i just cool it off remove the the bone from inside but if you notice there's a few bone still inside of it what i want to say to you if you are at home and you're doing this you can give kids to eat it because you have to be careful there's bone inside of it. I, I remove the big bone and now an outside sometimes you see some little thing on the outside when I wash it off you need to remove it and after simple just break it up into some very small pieces like this for cooking next in that lovely coconut milk with the season and everything. I know you guys are gonna love the recipe so right here as you can see this is the way it's gonna be look and as I said, you cannot give kids because there is bone inside of it. Um, be careful when you're eating it, but if you have time, simple, remove some of the bone on the inside of it. I did move some before and there is some still there. So just be careful when you're eating it. And if you have the patient, just simple, move the bone from it and it will be more easier for you guys. So now we're going to fry it off. And so right guys here is my medium size frying pan which I'm going to fry it off. First of all, I'm going to simply put 
little bit of vegetable oil in the inside of a frying pan. My frying pan is a little bit hot so far, but the next what we're gonna simply do is put in these lovely veg inside of it, like this. Really nice and beautiful. Fry up this one roughly, nice, good. Three to four minutes, not too long. As you can see, it's looking lovely, really nice. And beautiful looking really good and next put that beautiful pepper inside simple putting that lovely coconut milk inside of it like this lovely then what we're gonna simply we're gonna put in this lovely salt mackerel inside of it like this also uh, if it a little bit looks small like that what you can simply do you can also add some more coconut milk inside of it so i'm gonna add roughly quarter and more coconut milk inside of it like this because the rundown is all about the coconut cream inside of it lovely and nice with a little piece of fresh thyme then next, put just a little pinch of a coarse pepper inside of it. Really nice. Put it on a medium size heat because you don't want it to be. The reason why I want to see the color of the seasoning inside of it. Lovely and nice. I'm going to simply taste it and see. Mm, that's beautiful. Then cover it and leave it on a medium size heat for another five to eight minutes. So, look at this, beautiful, really nice. As you can see, this is just really, really, really lovely and beautiful. As you can see, it's getting a little bit thicker and thicker. So this is soon finished now. But as you can see, I wanna see the color didn't cook out lovely and nice and this is the jamaican salt mackerel rundown beautiful lovely really nice as i can see looking good give it another taste again to see mm. this is beautiful really nice really really nice so right here this is finished because you don't want it to be dried out, you want to have a little sauce. And look at that beautiful the sauce is just getting thicker and thicker. So right here, this is finished now. And I can taste that beautiful scotch bunny pepper inside of it. So this is finished. Now we're gonna share it out, make you guys can see the way it nice. looks. So as beautiful. you can see right over here, I got the banana and also I got the dumpling. And now we're gonna simply I'm gonna simply put that beautiful run down right here which we just made a while ago and i want to say run down is all about the coconut milk inside of it give it that beautiful flavor that beautiful look and that beautiful taste so as i can see looking lovely with the jamaican pepper right on top of it hopefully you guys love this one look at that really nice beautiful please leave a comment subscribe the youtube channel as you can see what i'm talking about with that beautiful rundown today really nice and as i said you can have it anytime in the morning evening day afternoon whatever you like you can have that beautiful jamaican rundown with the coconut cream inside of it so enjoy the recipe and subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much for watching chef ricardo cooking program and as i said we have a lot more recipes similar coming out just like this so enjoy the recipe today as from chef record you can have it with anything visit my website and sign up for free and please enjoy it nice one thank you very much bye